Besides Morgan, all right. You're a friendly acting bunch of hombres. Aren't you, Ken Morgan? That's right. Any objections? You some people call you lightning. My friends? Why? Put the handcuffs on him. You're under arrest. You gents are plumb careless. You're forgetting my saddle gun. Thanks for reminding us. Not at all. Always willing to help out the law. Would you mind telling me why you're showing me so much consideration? You'll find out. Get going. Nice day, ain't it? Sit down. Mighty unfriendly bunch of star packers you got around. Here I've been up in the hills for the last six months, mind my own business. First time I start the town, this happens. That's just it. You've been minding your business a little too long. So what? Friend of yours is looking for you. Butch Taggart. Taggart? He ain't no friend of mine. He's in the penitentiary where I put him last year. You put him there, all right, but he's not there now. He escaped a couple of weeks ago. Jim Corey! Well, you wall-eyed old horse thief. Now I'm beginning to see the light. But it ain't gonna do you any good. I'm not going back in the service. I didn't keep writing you just to be using ink, Ken. I wrote you for a purpose. Taggart's out. And he's a cinch to head after that loot that the state didn't recover when he was sent up. Well, that ain't my fault. I got a ranch up in the mountains and a thousand head of horses to look after. Keeps me stepping to do it. Hey, take these off of here. Unlock them. I want to get out of here. You're not leaving here till I get through talking. You're just wasting your breath, Jim. Maybe. Did you ever know just what that state money that Taggart got away with was intended for? No, why should I? And I'll tell you, that money was appropriated by the state for the purpose of completing the Rock Canyon Irrigation Project. Over 300 families took up land and built homes in that district, depending entirely on the water from that dam for their crops and their livestock. They've struggled through a year of poverty and starvation, and unless that money is recovered and the dam completed, they face absolute ruin. That puts a kind of a different slant on the situation. I thought you'd see it my way. Unlock those handcuffs. I sent for you because you're the only one that knows Taggart's former hideouts and his friends. He used to pal around quite a bit with Joe Lakin over at Blue Mesa. Some of his friends had to escape. Lakin may be a good man to watch. So you asked me to go out and make myself a target for that bunch again, huh? Perhaps you won't have to go so very far, Ken. Don't forget that Butch Taggart threatened to get even with you for sending him to the pen. Well, maybe you're right. But I'm not taking the assignment on that account. There's 300 families need water, and I'm going to see that they get it. Good. Here's your commission. You double-crossing old snake in the grass. That commission's dated two weeks ago. That's right. You've been working for the government for two <laughs> weeks, only you didn't know it. <laughs> well, there's one more thing, Ken. We've suppressed all publicity about Taggart's escape. We've called off the hunt on him. Now, the recovery of that money and his capture is entirely up to you. You'll be playing a lone hand. I understand. I might be needing these, Sheriff. You can sure interfere with a lot of my plans. So long, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll be hearing from me one of these days. And another thing, this is the last time you're going to get me back in the service. I wonder. Huh. Acts as if he kind of recognizes that hobo. What about the stranger that left him here last week? He was in three days ago and told Mike to keep the horse saddled and bridled. Sounds kind of suspicious to me. Uh, me too. But he got his money in advance, so he ain't complaining. just in time. El Dorado needs a new waiter. <laughs> yeah, we lose one waiter and we get another one. I don't want to be no waiter. Nothing like the wide open spaces with the blue sky above and the good earth beneath your feet. Oh, I ain't hankering to be no waiter. That's what you think. Yeah, yeah we don't <laughs> want to Go on, get it. Right. Get, it. Get, it. Uh, get in there, you smart. Get in there, you smart. Hold it. What seems to be the trouble, partner? There ain't no trouble. We just give this low-down good-for-nothing a job here as waiter and he objects. Well, we happen to need a waiter. I take the job or you'll have the gent that just went out in the street feet first. Maybe you saw him. Yeah, I saw him. He was wearing this apron. Well, now, do you want to wear the apron? Or go out feet first? Well, it looks like I ain't no position to object. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Yeah. Give me a bottle of your worst stuff. Take it out of the new waiter's salary. There's a good spark in Here. You know, we've had hard luck with our waiters. They don't seem to last very long. But we're going to drink to your health and hope that you outlive the last few gents. Here. Drink up. Quite a capacity for this stuff. If you stand up under that one, you're all right. <coughs> Can 
me take it, Mac. <laughs> Why, you dirty... No! Enough of that. There are some things I told you I wouldn't stand for. What are you talking about? You mean that tramp over there? No. The one upstairs that just came in the back way. for sending Frank here out with my horse and clothes. Yeah, I sure would have hated to have lost my boots. Oh, forget it. I'm glad you're out. Don't lie. I'm the last man in the world you'd want to see out if it wasn't for a little deal we didn't get finished. But we'll pass that. We'll begin where we left off when I went up. You stayed out. Oh, uh, sit down, Butch. Let me get you a drink. I've seen some dirty fellows in my life, but I don't think I ever saw one quite as dirty as you. Well, Mama, I haven't seen any bathtubs in my travels. Barbers don't care much for my kind. After I've been here a spell, though, maybe, maybe I'll clean up. When you do, I want to see you. some glasses and make it snappy. Not me. Take it inside. Hey. Watch what you're doing. Hey, no one told you to leave. I want attention to lots of us, see, and I'm willing to pay for it. So stick around. Here. Well, pick it up. That's what I was going to do. Wouldn't pass up such a fine piece of change as that. Yeah, there's lots more where that come from. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, Joe, what about that doctor Frank tells me you got fixed? Everything is all set, but Doc Jenkins will fix that scar on your face so you won't even know yourself. What'd you tell him? Only that you see, he's a newcomer here in town. There won't be any danger of him recognizing you. Yeah. Supposing he talks. I took care of that too. You're right. Because anything should happen to me, you'll all be out of luck. The four of us here in this room all have an equal interest in a certain strong box that's been hidden away for the last year. But I'm the only one that knows where to find it. Remember that. Excuse me. Listen, you. Get downstairs where you belong.
Now listen. The doctor's office is right down at the end of the street. When he gets through with you, come back here. It'll be dark by then and we'll take you to a cabin where you can lay low until your face heals. Go out the same way you came in, Butch. And we'll see you later. to you. What's the idea of the masquerade, Mr. Ken Morgan? I was wondering if you'd recognize me. Why shouldn't I? After all, we were pretty good friends at one time. We're good friends now. It was only because... Oh, well, go ahead and say it. It was only because of my father's owning a place like this. Well, there's some things it's pretty hard to understand. For instance, the fact that Butch Taggart, when he escaped from the pen, come here to hide out. I know. He's hand in glove with Uncle Joe. But I can't help it. Joe Lakin is my guardian, and he runs things his way. He even makes me work here. And you. You're in Blue Mesa after Taggart. And anybody else that happens to be mixed up with him. You'll be found with a bullet in your back some morning if Lake and her Taggart recognize you. I'll have to take that risk, I guess. Unless... Unless you want to tell him who I am. Oh, you don't have to worry. Look, I had nothing to do with Taggart's coming here. It's only because of my brother Tad that I put up with the things I do. Hi. All right, Eddie, set him up. Ken, I'm worried about him. He's drinking and gambling all the time, and Uncle Joe only encourages it. If it keeps on, it won't be long until... Well, until... Becomes a first-class member of Joe Lakin's gang, right? Tad really isn't a bad kid. He always liked you. Well, if you could only help him get the right slant on things. I'm willing, May. I think he could help me if he wants to. After I've left, you call him over the table and tell him who I am. I'll saunter back a little bit so as not to arouse suspicion. All right. Afternoon. Howdy. I'm a friend of Joe Lakin's. I believe he told you about me. Yes, he did. And I'm just going out on a call. Do you mind waiting till I come back? I certainly do. Did Lakin tell you who it was he was sending over? Naturally. Then what are you doing with this whole reward notice? I was just studying that scar, trying to figure out the best method of removing it. You better be telling the truth, Doc. Here, take a look at that. You think you can fix it? Yes, I think I can. Well, get busy. Now, wait a minute. This can't be done in a minute, Taggart. It'll take time. I'll have to administer an anesthetic. 
You're not putting me to sleep, see? And if you got any other ideas, forget them. If you expect me to remove that scar, you'll have to follow my orders. I'm the one that's giving the orders, Doc, and you're not putting me to sleep. Come on now, get busy. I can take it. Well, it's your face. You said it. And it's my neck that'll get stretched if I'm dumb enough to let you double cross me. <laughs> oh no, Doc. Oh no. Here. Go to work right here in that chair. And remember, Doc, this gun has a hair trigger. It'll be pointed right at your middle all the time. Come on. I have to shave you first. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be something? I'll do my own shaving. Yes, I... I guess you will. Just, uh, trim around that scar. That's all that's necessary. So you see, Dad, it's up to you. Either you can make up your mind to help me put Taggart and Lakin where they belong, or you can tip them off. I'd never do that, Ken. After all, Joe Lakin's my uncle. He's always been pretty good to me, and so... We've I... gone into that before. According to your father's will, you and May were left under his guardianship till you both married. All he's done surrounds you with gunfighters and bandits. Now, whether I succeed in getting this money or not remains to be seen. If I fail, somebody else will step in. Sooner or later, you'll both be dragged into this thing. I never looked at it that way before. You can count on me. Good. I knew I could. I'll get the horses and I'll meet you where I said. Right with Taggart. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? The lady back there says she owns the place, says she don't like my face. Being a gentleman, I... Removing it from her. That's right, Uncle Joe. I fired him. I don't want his kind around the Eldorado. I run this place, not you, May. You may run it, but I own it. Well, you... Wait a minute, Uncle Joe. Oh. And as for you, get to work. Straight kid, you know what you're gonna do? Don't worry, and thanks for what you just did. Do you think he'll find the doctor's office all right, Ted? If he got my instructions right, he can. Well, I guess that's about all I can do for you. How long will I have to wear this bandage? The longer the better. Two weeks, perhaps. Hey, I... I don't feel no pain or nothing. What did you do to me? I deadened that portion of your face with a local anesthetic. That's why you don't feel anything. Yeah. You'll feel it tomorrow, though. What about the scar? You won't have to worry about that anymore. Got something, Doc. I don't think so. Sure. I forgot to pay you. And Butch Taggart always pays his debts in his own way.
Howdy, Taggart. You got the wrong man, mister. My name ain't Taggart. Won't take long to find out. Let's get going. We're taking a little trip. Come on. I'm telling you for the last time, Joe Lakin, that convict Butch Taggart isn't going to come here anymore. What's the matter with you? They just come from the doctor's office. Well, go ahead. Something happened to Taggart? No, it happened to the doctor. He's dead. What? Yeah, no sign of Taggart. Well, I'll be on his trail in a few minutes. When it gets after him, he'll soon get wise to us. Remember my last warning to you, Joe. Don't bring your convict friend here. Our only chance is to find Taggart. He holds the key to the strong box. And if the law gets on his trail, it's liable to end up with Taggart being killed. And if he does, we lose. Get my horse. Come on. Daylight again, huh? Taggart, you ready to come clean? I don't know what you're talking about. I told you 20 times my name ain't Taggart, and I can prove it. I've given you all the time I'm going to give you. Unwind the bandages, Tad. Before you take them bandages off, I'll tell you what you'll find. Yes. A scar from here to here. The only thing you'll find there is where the doctor fixed me up from a little burn. Take off the bandage, Tad. I'm waiting to get a look at that burn. you said you had on your face. You've had that burn for 10 years. So when I identified you by Taggart. You crazy. I don't believe you. Let me see it. Get that mirror for him, Ted. You lie. You lie, I tell you. I ain't got any scar. Take a look at it. Dirty. I'm glad I got him. You got who? You'll find out. Now start talking. Where'd you hide that money? You know you're going back to prison. You'll never live to enjoy it. Maybe I won't. But nobody else ever will either. And nobody's ever going to find that express box without me leading them to it. How about you and me making a little deal? Now, the state wants that money more than they do me. Maybe I'd swap most of it to you for my freedom. Not a chance. You're gonna talk all right. Even if I have to remember a few little Indian tricks I saw tried out one time. It's Lakin. He's got Mac and Frank with him. He's just as well come now as any other time. How far is Lakin into this deal with you, Taggart? Ask him. I will. Where are we going to hide this? Up in the attic. Can you reach it, Tad? Yeah. Set, Tad? Right. You ain't putting me in no attic like a rat. That's where you belong. You'll be in good company. All right, get up on there. Come on. Come on. Get up on there. Put him up. Right. Have him out a little. Come on. Oh. Take him on up in time, Tad. I've got what I want.
three horses over there, and they're saddled, too. Looks like our hunch was right about Taggart coming out here to Tad's cabin. If I find out he's double-crossed me, I'll... Uh. Horses belong to Tad and his sister. Well, we'll find out who owns the other one. Hold him, Lincoln. All of you reach. Get their guns, Tad. You double crossing little rat. After all you've done for him. That's enough of the conversation. You're under arrest. For what? You ain't got nothing on us. No. Only the charge of helping Butch Taggart rob the Wells Fargo Express of that money belonging to the state. Now I know why I was suspicious of you yesterday. You're Lightning Ken Morgan, the marshal that sent Taggart up to the pen last year. Yeah. Kind of careless of me to have missed you in that roundup. This time, though, you'll keep Taggart company. Time up, Tad. We'll let him watch Taggart while he does a lot of talking. Taggart. over there and take their guns. All right now, Lightning Ken Morgan. Where's Butch Taggart? Suppose you find out. See that line going through here? See where it stops? Sure I see it, but what does it mean? Well, don't you see all these other lines coming in here? Why, no man in his right mind would have a boot stitch like that. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. See this line here? That's the crossroads to Devil's Pocket. Here's the old creek bed. And there's the trees. No wonder we could never find Taggart's map. He had it stitched on his boots. And we had him all the time he was in the pen. Smart bunch of hombres we are. Well, we've been kicking him around for a year. And just wondering if Taggart was ever going to get out to wear him again. <laughs> Too bad, Taggart. But it makes one less to split with. Thanks, Morgan. You did us a favor. I wish I could do as much for you. Tie him up. Do a good job of it. Can we fix them so they won't bother us again? I'm handling things. We'll leave them here until we find the strong box. 
Then we'll decide what to do with them. Well, Morgan, we'll be seeing you later. Looks like Lakin and his men. I wonder what they're doing out here. Guess they're out looking for tigers, same as we are. Pretty pickle I got us into, Tad. Oh, uh, it wasn't your fault. No matter whose fault it was, we're here, ain't we? Looks like we overplayed our hand. Say, maybe I need glasses. Do you see what I see? Yeah, he ain't dead. You're a little too late for that, Taggart. this other boat, too. That's what you... Should have got the other boat. Just wasn't in the cards, Taggart. Tad, turn, see if you can turn around a little. Maybe I can untie you. I can move my hands a little bit. <coughs> can you come this way a little more? <coughs> it's no, no use. Wait a minute, I'll throw my feet around. <coughs> I can just get a hold. I can move my fingers a little. Wait a minute. There, there. I've got a hold of it now. Got a hold of the end of the rope. Well, we're on the right trail. This line on the boot should lead us direct to Devil's Pocket. Now let's loosen up a little, Tad. Try it again. See if you can pull your wrist through. Come oh, on, try it out. Yes, make it? it? Yeah. Good, good. Untie him.
Come on, Ted. Well, we might just as well take a look in here. Butch Taggart. We're on the trail of something or other. Butch Taggart is inside dead. No, I don't know what it means anything or not, but he's only wearing one boot. Yes, maybe we made a mistake, Sheriff. Remember those three hombres we saw riding away from here a little while ago? We should have investigated. Well, maybe we're not too late. This must be it. This must be it. The old creek bed. The oaks, that's what that line means. Straight away from those oaks. Start digging. There it is. Let's get it out of there. Well, how are we going to get it open? That's easy. Is that a shot? Yeah, and it came from over in that direction. You fool! Why didn't you knock it off with a shovel? You can't tell who'll hear that shot. Come on, quit talking. We got work to do. Look. Let's head back to town. We'll divide up there. How about the marshal and that nephew of yours? I'll take care of them. Probably on their way to the Eldorado. Let's go. All right, put them up, both of you. They're unarmed. All right, you're coming with us. Maybe we can do some work together. You can do your talking behind the bars. 
You're part of the crowd that killed Butch Taggart. Now get traveling and we'll follow you. Stay here and keep your eyes open, Dad. I get you. Oh, I've been so worried. Joe and his two pals just came in and they're in an ugly mood. They shouldn't be. They found Tiger's hidden money. Where are they? In the card room upstairs. But you'd better wait and get the sheriff. You can't handle them alone. Nothing to stop me from trying. Besides, me and the sheriff ain't on speaking terms. Can you get me a gun? Hey, what about those drinks I ordered? Thanks. I'd better take this up. I'll take it. That's Eddie with a drink. This is what you ordered. You're under arrest. Here, take it. And take it easy. Turn around. All right, get on over. Now, let's just set tight, boys. The law arrives to take care of you. Come on, sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Hmm. Lakin's horse. Yeah. Frank's and Max too. Well, that means they're at the El Dorado. We're paying Lakin a little visit. All right, boys. Go ahead, pour yourselves a drink, boys.
Stay out of this tent. You've overplayed your hand, Lightning. Now you two stay outside. Come on. Maybe I won't get away. But you'll never be in the parade that follows me to Boot Hill, Morgan. <laughs> Hold it, mister, or you'll get the same thing as Joe Lakin. All right, get those two men. Come here, you. When thieves fall out, anything is likely to happen. That's right, but I don't happen to be one of the thieves, Sheriff. No? Then why did you and the kid make a getaway when I placed you under arrest? Well, it's like this, Sheriff. You didn't have the authority to arrest me. Well, uh, I'm the Sheriff here. That's true. I'm Deputy United States Marshal Ken Morgan. Signed to run down Butch Taggart and his gang and recover that money stole from the state last year. Well, I... Uh, I'll be hung for a horse thief. Sorry I was the cause of your closing your place, Tad. Well, that's all right. My sister's been wanting to close it for a long time now. Here. What are these for? Well, May thought maybe you know of a sky pilot that needed a good building for a church. That's not a bad idea. Ken, May would like to say goodbye to you before you leave. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 